Hey, yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Soul Brethren. Um, I see you. How you guys doing? This is a shoe for all you uh, fat-footed boys. The wide boys out there. Um, you know, I, wonder... I, got, I, I don't know what it's like to be you. Because I got that <laughs> narrow-ass foot. Uh, but... I'm a little bit narrower than normal. Yeah. Not super narrow, but... Um, I feel I, like a lot of people have wide feet. Really? I don't know. I've, I've, a lot of people, like, even homies of mine are like, dude, uh, I need a shoe for for wide foot. Or like, yeah. what should I get? And I'm like, hmm. But all the freaking shoes that we test are pretty damn narrow. Yeah. So that's good for us. But I mean. Yeah. Um, so, and also there's, there's also the thick footed uh, guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, like this way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I guess I would just be pretty normal. That? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea, but... Well, if you're a wide footer, this is a very important video for you because we're about to break down uh, the five best shoes for your wide foot. Yeah, so um, all of... Uh, these are hoop shoes, by the way. Exactly. And some of these are wide and some of these are like normally normal to wide. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So uh, we'll tell you if you might need to go half a size up or just stay true to size in uh, our opinion. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyways, alright, so let's get started right with the first one, and that is the Crazy Light Boosting. Mm -hmm. So, um, Crazy Light Boosts, Boosts have never really been narrow. They, no. Uh, they, all of them, if I can remember correctly, have been pretty... No, the 2014 was pretty narrow. But yeah. 2015, 2016, and 2017 are all, like, not super wide, yeah, but, like... Yeah, they're not crazy wide, but... A li like, pretty uh, wider than normal. So, um... Yeah. Uh, if you're a wide footer, I would suggest maybe going up half a size if you can because it's not truly like super wide. Um, because it was really hard to find wide shoes. Yeah. Like uh, a lot of them, like most of the, the shoes that we've tested uh, that you can get right now are pretty damn narrow. Pretty narrow. So, and then a lot of them even have one booty uppers exactly. where it's even worse yeah. if it's even close to narrow because it's harder to get a good stretch. A lot of these shoes have a, you know, at least half a tongue or a quarter tongue yes. with laces so you can kind of open it up if you need to a little bit. Exactly. But I mean, this blind, it does stretch out sometimes, yeah. but sometimes it, it doesn't like stretch out as much as you want. Well, sometimes it's like, like that neoprene, like in the hardened twos. Yeah. Like that's kind of wrapped around your foot pretty tight. Yeah. yeah you exactly. know. Moving on to the next one is a really good performer and that is the WoW 6 by mm. Li Ning. Um, very good fit. Um, actually, no, it wasn't for me. <laughs> there was a lot of, a good amount of toe space. I had to add an insole for uh, the to for me to eliminate the toe space, mm -hmm. it, it was pretty wide also. So if you're a wide footer and you have a thick ass foot, that should be good for you because I don't know why leaning made like a knit upper and made it like super roomy. You know what I'm saying? There's no yeah. point in that. Um, but you know, so if you're a wide, thick footed guy, then the wild stick should be good and the cushion is amazing. Traction is good. So uh, there's all that. Mm -hmm. We got the next shoe is a shoe that recently came out and that's a CP3.11. Yep. So uh, it does uh, run, there's a, a good amount of space width wise. Yeah, I feel I like it's pretty pretty wide. Yeah, I, I, well, maybe not like super wide. Not crazy, yeah. but you know, it's 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 good enough and yeah. you know, it's not a one booty upper so you got a little bit of the tongue there. You can kind of stretch some laces open and stick your fat foot in there. Yeah. You and know what I mean? Would you suggest going up half a size? Uh, nah, I would. Yeah. Really? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it pretty yeah. wide. Really? Okay. You, you could maybe right. go up half a size. Yeah. Going up is like, that's scary to me. Because uh, I hate having length in my toe. Exactly. I hate you that. Know? Too. I hate so it. uh, it's hard for me to ever recommend but that. I feel but. like white footers are used to it. Yeah. yeah. So like John. John like, our homie John. John, this fool. He wears, what really size shoe does he wear? He, wear? he wears like a 10, 9 and a half, 10. No, but what is he really supposed he to wear? He really wears a freaking size 8. <laughs> I'm just like, he dude, literally what are you two doing? sizes. What are you doing? Bro? I'll go feel he's it. It's like, like an inch. I'm like, dog, what are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's a, it's a very comfortable. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's a good fit. It's a good, you know. <laughs> so he's Filipino, by the way. Shout out to Cebu. Yeah. And, Cebu uh, in the house. But um, what are we talking about? Uh, we were talking about. Oh yeah. So uh, some people are gonna be like, oh, dude, why, uh, how is this a wide wide shoe list when we have to go up half a size? Well, um, it's some of the sh or most of the shoes. I we feel like. It are like pretty damn narrow and if you did go up half a size or maybe even a full size to accommodate for your width it would probably be a little too long so um yeah and none of these shoes are like like 
certified crazy. wide. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like so. there's like the Air Monarch, like the wide Air Monarch. Exactly. Like yeah. those are wide. Very wide. Um, so none of these are that. Yes. But, so um, just you know, just trying to help you yeah. guys out. You know what I'm saying? Um, moving on to the next one is the Kobe AD Mid. I feel like this is a true wide because. Yeah. It's pretty damn wide. We had to uh, out the gate put an insole in there, exactly, just to get it. And a lot of toe space too. And so there's I a lot had of toe space. A, uh, I have to put a what do you call it? An insole in, yep. and that's when the fit's really nice. I really like playing in it. Um, but when I take it out, it's just the fit's really not good for me. So I'm swimming in there. Mm -hmm. So if you're a wide footer, it should also be very good. And also, all of these shoes are basically really, really nice performers. Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. We um, didn't throw any garbage shoes in there just because they're wide. Yeah, so true to size in the AD mids. Yes. And you're good to go. Like Jack Curry. Uh -huh. But anyways, for you wide footers, uh, those are the top picks in our opinion uh, for you guys. Uh, tell us if we missed anything or uh, in your opinion uh, is a good wide footer shoe. Yeah. Because we don't have a wide foot. Exactly. Let um, us know. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.